Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's good video is going to be a swatch and review on the Anchor and Heart Lacquer Fruity Flakies collection. And there are six polishes in this collection. I first discovered Anchor and Heart Lacquer, I want to say during Polish Con when I went a few years ago. It was like the first Polish Con. And then I have been slowly picking up their polishes every time they are on the Polish Pickup. They're one of my favorite polishes to pick up from the Polish Pickup. I just really enjoy their formula. I really enjoy their very creative polishes. Sometimes I've gotten like color shifting polishes from them. I've gotten Crellies from them. I've gotten glitter polishes from them. I've tried a lot of different like finishes uh, and formulations and I've loved every single one of them. So I was really excited to see that they released this collection. I was really, really drawn to this collection because they're not only neons, but they all kind of have some type of shifty shimmer kind of running throughout the polish. And then it they also also have like these iridescent and multi-chrome flakies in here. So I thought this was a really cool twist on like the typical neon polishes that you see come out for or neon collections that you see come out for the summertime. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to try not to be too repetitive because these are all essentially the same finish just in different colors. So please excuse me if I kind of speed through uh, this swatch and review for you guys. So the first one is called a very appealing and this is one one of the first polishes that I decided to put on. This is similar to one of the polishes that I picked up from the Polish Pickup. I featured it in one of my nail polish favorites and I think the polishes are very very similar that I would say if you missed out on the one from the Polish Pickup this is a good very very good alternative. So again this is the orange polish in the collection and it has kind of like a bluish shim like shifty shimmer in here and it's jam-packed with a whole bunch of iridescent glitters and multi-chrome not sorry not glitters these are all flakies so this one actually took me three coats to be fully opaque it is a little bit more on the sheer side I think if you put a white base under this one or any of these polishes it might be a lot quicker to build up and it would definitely make the polishes a little bit more neon the formulation on these are a little bit on the thin side so they dry relative each coat dries relatively quickly so you are able to build up the coat relatively quickly. I just love the end results I got from this. Again, this was very appealing. So the next polish in the collection is Fine Apple, and this is the highlighter yellow polish of the collection. Again, it has a little bit of a like shimmer running throughout it, but I don't really see much of a shift in this polish, and it's just jam-packed with those iridescent and uh, multi-chrome flakies in there. This one kind of disappointed me a little bit. I was really, really hoping hoping that I could build this up in about two or three coats but because it is a yellow polish and especially because it's a neon yellow polish it's a little bit more on the sheer side so this one actually took me four coats to get fully opaque but I'm very very picky about seeing that nail line even with all of the flakies in here it still took me four coats I'm sure if you put a white base underneath it and did two coats on top of that you know it would take care of that problem of seeing your nail line but on its own, it took me four coats to get fully opaque. So the next polish in the collection is called One in a Melon, and this is the neon pink in the collection. And this one does have that really pretty bluish purplish shimmer or sheen running throughout the polish. It's kind of like a pearlescent sheen, so it gives that polish that really cool shift to it. And again, it's jam-packed with those iridescent and multi-chrome flakies in there. And I, I would say this one is the one that has the most apparent like shift to it in comparison to the rest of the polish in, in the collection. This one is actually fully opaque on me in just two coats. Again, if you put a white base underneath it, it'll make that pink definitely pop a lot more. But it's already a pretty intense and vibrant hot pink, so I don't really think you need need a white coat with this one. So the next polish in the collection is called Figgin Amazing and this is the neon purple in the collection. It's not as bright or as intense as the other polishes in the collection but it does have a really pretty shift in here and this kind of has like a goldish pinkish shift to it and again it's jam-packed with iridescent and multi-chrome flakies in here. 
This one also took me two coats to be fully opaque. I haven't tried this with a white base, but I'm guessing if you put a white base underneath it, it will it will make it a little bit more neon. It's still a beautiful color, but I can definitely see me wearing this type of color maybe a little bit more towards the fall time because it's not as bright as intense as a lot of neon purples that I have in my collection, but I still think it's a beautiful um, color and I think it's a stunning, stunning polish. So the next one in the collection is called partners in lime and this is the neon green or a lime green polish just jam-packed with those iridescent flakies and multi-chrome flakies in there and this one does have that kind of bluish shimmer running throughout the polish but it's not as apparent as the pink polish in the collection but it's still a gorgeous color I love neon greens I've picked up several of them especially from the polish pickup they're just one of my favorite polishes to wear either in the summertime or around Halloween time but even though I've picked up a lot of of neon green polishes already. I don't have any with like these type of flakies or as many flakies as this polish has. I kind of wish that shimmer was a little bit more apparent, but I still really love this polish. I can't decide if this is fully opaque on either two coats or three coats. I've worn this polish several times and sometimes it takes me two coats, sometimes it takes me three coats. I'm sure if you wore a white base again, it would intensify uh, this polish or the brightness of this polish, but I'm really loving it. This is one of my favorites from the collection. And then the last polish in the collection is the neon blue. This one is called Berry Into You. It's definitely not as bright as in or intense as, again, some of these other uh, polishes in the collection, but it's as neon as you're gonna get with blues. I think neon blues are a little bit more difficult to make. This is a really pretty blue. So it's like a bright kind of robin's egg blue, jam-packed with those iridescent and multi-chrome flakies. This one is a little bit more on the sheer side. This one actually took me three coats to be fully opaque, so I was a little bit disappointed in that, but I love the color so much. Of course, I love blues. Blues are my favorites that I don't mind building this up in three coats. I've tried wearing this with a white base underneath and I was able to get it fully opaque and built up and intense in just two coats. So I think that's the, that's the way I'm gonna prefer wearing this polish, but Regardless, it's still a beautiful, beautiful polish. So that's it. That's my swatch and review of the Fruity Flakies collection from Anchor and Heart Lacquer. If you guys have not tried them or have not tried uh, this brand yet, I highly recommend them. They are one of my favorite indie brands. I've truly enjoyed every single polish I've ever picked up from Anchor and Heart Lacquer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I currently post three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then on Sundays or every other Sunday, I like to do a weekly makeup basket. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.